Hey everyone, today we are going to install Parallels 20.2.1 on our MacBook with Apple Silicon. As you can see, this Parallels website, you are going to try it out for free. Technically, we are not going to do that. Yeah, this is just a kind of cover up. Yeah, so we are going to have to optimize. When you hear optimize, optimize means like doing something we shouldn't be doing. Also, you might want to check with me on Telegram to get access to this file. Yeah, I'll make it available for everyone there. Now let's open the Parallels app in the file which you got from Telegram. And follow along. Yeah, you can see checking for updates. Press the red X to not update whatever you do. Never update. Let's allow it install. Put in your Touch ID and your account password as you ask for it. Alright, installing Parallels desktop. Follow along very carefully. Yeah, there's a lot of steps to be taken here, and you don't want to miss anyone. Now, if you don't have Windows ISO for any reason, make sure you press the blue button and connect to internet so you can download it from there. But since I already have it, I'll cancel that and use my own ISO. Alright, other options install from image file, allow you to find out Mask ID, and click Windows 11 Pro. Productivity, allow it to use the default name and prepare your virtual machine. Alright, everything is going according to plan right now. So let's allow the Windows setup do its thing. At some point, I'm going to fast forward it by 20x so we wouldn't waste too much time. Yeah, 20x still going. More installation ongoing at 20x. Alright, we are at the end of the installation process, but there is still that annoying Windows setup to deal with. Yeah, so let's get past that also. Uh, keep your PC on. Yeah, this particular page. Alright. Looks like we are almost there. And there we have it. Windows 11 has been installed. You can see it's showing the buy icon to the right of that window, which means we have not optimized it in quotes yet. So quit parallels desktop from the menu bar. Make sure the icon disappears from the dock. Alright, mine has disappeared. Open the patches folder and let's run the first command with terminal. Right click on it and open with terminal. Yeah, like that's going to stop us. Open settings, privacy and security and scroll to the bottom. And then once you put your touch ID, that's all. It's going to run even if it doesn't want to. And now we have done that. So. The second one is quite sensitive. You have to make sure you know if SIP is turned on or off. By default, it is turned on. But if you have turned it off before, then use SIP off. Since mine is still on in its default state, I'm going to use SIP on. So I'm going to double click on that and drag the app to my apps folder. Yep, dragging it to my apps folder. Now it's there. So open the launch pad and look for the SIP on tool. Uh, again, that cannot stop us, Apple. Open anyway. Exactly, that's the point. Now click on the install button and put in your account's password. And let's give that some time to perform its magic. Yep, looks like it's done. Exit. Now we need to test the app to make sure it even worked. So open Launchpad, Parallels Desktop itself this time, and let's see what we have. First of all, you can see it works because that buy icon is no longer showing at the top right corner of the window. So what are these annoying pop-ups for? Anyways, granted all the permissions that would start coming now, while it resumes Windows 11.
Yep, accept all license. Yeah, you can see it maximizes uh, whatever that is granted. All right, so that looks like it's yeah, practically done. This is version 20.2.1. Make sure you get the appropriate file and I'll see you guys in the next video.